Today on this 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek, we're going to review and install the current trailer hitch receiver, part number C11286. Alright, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on our Subaru. You notice overall look is it's going to, going to sit below the bumper. You can also see in the center here where it fits up nice and tight up, up against the bumper. This is our inch and a quarter opening right here, which would be great for all your class one accessories and towing needs. Now our small hitch here does have a nice reinforcing collar here, but it actually kind of adds a finishing look to it. Next up, we'll go ahead to the hitch pin hole right here, which is a half inch diameter. Now we'll use a half inch hitch pin or your favorite locking hitch pin. All right, look at it on the bottom here. This plate with the two holes is for our safety chains. And simply hook on just like that. Then back into the cross tube of the hitch itself. It's gonna be a rectangle shape. And that's what kind of helps keep it a little bit as close as possible to the bumper. Okay. And this is all protected and a nice powder coat finish. It's kind of a, a more of a shiny look uh, compared to some other brands that are out there. This hitch is going to be rated for 2,000 pounds of pull weight like this. And then it's also going to be rated for 200 pounds of tongue weight, which is weight that pushes down on the hitch ball. Now you always want to double check with your owner's manual to make sure that the vehicle can handle these kinds of weights. One nice detail about the Kurt hitch is that it does come with a pin and clip. So it's ready for use with any of your accessories. Here are a few measurements that help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to the ground will be about 14 and a half inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to outside edge of bumper, it's going to be about two and a half inches. Now let's go ahead and show you how we install the hitch. All right, now let's go ahead and cover our install. First off, we do have a lot of room to work with underneath the vehicle, but if you can lift the body off the suspension and give you at least a couple more inches of working room, that'll help you out a lot. Let's go ahead and remove these three plugs here. This is the driver's side frame rail. We'll have to do the same thing over on the passenger side. And let's use some needle nose pliers to grip them and pull them down. Next, we gotta go ahead and make room for our hardware, which would be this carriage bolt and this block, which will be installed inside the frame. Right now, it's a little bit too, uh, the, hole, the access holes are a little bit too small for either one. So what you want to do is go ahead and enlarge this hole. What you can do is use a file. I've got a nice new file here and just make a keyhole slot for it. Okay. Now we're ready to install our hardware. You'll notice that the kit has two carriage bolts and they're kind of similar but they're easy to mix up. This is going to be a half inch carriage bolt. And this is going to be a smaller 7 16 carriage bolt. The smaller bolt will get installed closer to the bumper and the larger bolt will go towards the front. It just comes with two different bolt leaders and blocks. So make sure you take some time out and make sure they all fit correctly. So we'll take our bolt leader, run through a hole right here, right here, and then out our access hole, take our block, thread it in, push it into place, Throw it on our bolt. Just enough to grip it, we'll push it inside the frame. We'll pull it out and slowly unthread our bolt leader. So we have to reuse this one on the other side. Now for our hardware that goes towards the front of the vehicle, we'll do some pre-assembly outside. We'll fit them together, carefully thread on our bolt leader. Then we'll go ahead and install this inside the frame. Push the bolt into place, then the block, and pull it back through. We'll undo our bolt leader, and we're finished with our driver's side. I'm going to repeat the same process over on the passenger side. One thing at this point, it'd probably be a good idea to go ahead and seal up the hole here where we made our cuts into the frame with some extra spray paint or some undercoat to help uh, protect exposed metal right here. Now there's one more piece of hardware we have to install. And this spacer block goes between the bolt and the frame uh, on the bolt that goes closest towards the front of the vehicle. To make it easier to work with, I'm just gonna set it on top of the hitch here. And I'm gonna use some tape to kind of help hold it in place. Still need to move around a little bit as we put it into place so we don't have to keep, so we don't wanna keep it tight. We'll need to do this on both sides of the hitch. All right, now at this point, you wanna X set of hands to help hold the hitch up in position. We'll take this in on the passenger side, route it up and over the exhaust, and we'll push it up towards the bolts and be careful we don't push them back into the frame. And if you can, push the hitch forward or backwards, whichever direction you need to help trap the bolt so you can install the hardware. 
Okay, now if all our hardware loosely installed, you can actually move the hitch around a little bit. I like to pull as far back as possible and try to center it up in the bumper. And once you have it the way you like it, then we'll go ahead and tighten down the hardware. For our bolts going towards the front of the vehicle, I'll be using a three quarter inch socket. Now for our bolt closest to the bumper, we'll need 11 16 socket and a swivel because the hitch kind of gets in the way. We'll do this on both sides of the hitch. After hand tightening, we'll go ahead and torque the bolts down as specified in the instructions. Now finish up our current trailer hitch receiver, part number C11286, on this 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek.